Imagine you're getting in your car, ready to go to a new restaurant to meet a friend. Which is quite the concept, given the past few years, let's be honest. When you reach for your phone to get directions, you realize there's no map feature or any driving app with directions on it at all. Seriously, you ask yourself, how will I know how to get there? You reach into your glove compartment for a paper map and you realize you don't have one of those either. You have two choices. Cancel your plans or drive around until you find the place, probably while on the phone with your friend as they guide you to the right direction. Both options well, seem like a drag compared to just typing in a location on your phone. Maps. <laughs> no matter how small, maps are important tools in life. You don't always know which streets to turn down or which highways to merge onto or where to find the closest bakery even. I mean, come on, these things are important. And you probably don't even take a look at paper maps too often when your phone is right there in your hand. It's funny, you don't realize how important directions are until you don't have any. You know, sometimes in life, you find yourself without direction on a much grander scale. Have you ever found yourself wondering, well, what do I do? What do I do with my life? What do I do with my day or even the next hour? Well, fortunately, maps can help you imagine new experiences for yourself. Have you ever looked at a big map of the world and just put pens in places you've been or places that you would like to go? I definitely have, for sure. Maps help us picture where we want to go. And they show us how to get there. Maps make us curious. One of my favorite words. But it's your own unique map, your own inner compass that will help you answer the question, what do I do with my life now? This type of map is the one you draw with your life experiences, your own mistakes, your own successes, your failures, your goals. There's so many roads that can guide you to where you want to be. Some roads are freshly paved and smooth as glass. Eh, some feel a bit more like you're off-roading. But in the end, the destination is usually the one we're destined to arrive, regardless of how you get there. So let's learn how to use our unique maps and our inner compasses to get the directions when we feel hmm, directionless. You might even discover that being lost eh, isn't such a bad thing sometimes. I'm Chad Lawson, and let's comment down in three, two, one. You know, speaking of mapping out our paths, my family and I have recently embarked on a new adventure of our own. We moved, not just from like one neighborhood to another, but across multiple states. It was huge. It was so much work. Picture this. Amidst the sea of cardboard boxes, tired feet, and the symphony of packing tape being torn, the last thing that we wanted to navigate was what to eat, what to plan for meals. We were just done with adulting. I cannot even begin to tell you, but that's where... HelloFresh came to our rescue. So whether you're moving or just bracing for the back-to-school chaos, HelloFresh makes meal planning straightforward and stress-free. And believe it or not, a welcome break from the mountain of moving boxes. Honestly, when life gets as unpredictable as the game of Jenga, don't dial for delivery. Because HelloFresh not only is much more affordable than takeout, it's also cheaper than the grocery store without compromising on any of the freshness. Let HelloFresh get groceries and save you some cash with pre-portioned meals delivered right to your door. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 comment down. That's 50 comment down. And use code 50 comment down for 50% off 
plus free shipping. Yes, you heard that right. 50% off plus free shipping. Once more, for those in the back, hellofresh.com slash 50 comment down. Use the code. Why settle for less when you can have America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh. Ready to guide your culinary journey. And now, back to the journey that we began at the start. All of this talk about maps and journeys reminds me of the Dr. Seuss book, All the Places You Will Go. The part that I like the most is, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your way, and you know what you know, and you are the one who will decide where to go. I bet a lot of you received a number of all the places you'll go as a gift for your high school or college graduation. The quote is even in greeting cards, and for good sentiment, too. Who doesn't love Dr. Seuss? But it's an empowering message. You'll go in the direction you choose, using the tools you have, and you're capable of figuring everything out as you go along. Your inner compass is one of those tools that you have, along with your brains and your head and the feet and your shoes, as Dr. Seuss says. This compass is your intuition, and it can help you even when you have a clear idea of where you want to go. Maybe the path of your goals seem clear at first. If you want a PhD, there's schools that will help you get there. Or if you want to help others, there are dozens of places to volunteer. Your compass guides you when things become a little bit more challenging as well. Your compass can point you in the right direction. Listen to the natural gut feeling as when you make a decision. It's informed by every decision you make and all of the lessons you've learned in life along the way. You start by being bold. Did you hear that? You start by being bold. Well, Chad, how do I be bold? Well, you start by making a choice. It seems like you're on cruise control and then all of a sudden, whack, all of a sudden things go wrong and... You no longer feel like you're on the right road at all. The school that you chose to do your PhD eh, starts to feel like not so great fit for you. Or the volunteer work you're doing is, I don't know, less satisfying than you had hoped for. So you ask yourself, what now? Where do I go from here? I had all of my eggs in this one basket. What do I do? And when you listen closely to your gut, your compass can gently point you towards a different direction. When it feels right, even if it also feels risky. You're bold, you're brave, and you make another decision, just like you did to begin with. Each time you do a little course correction, your intuition becomes a little louder, and you learn more and more about yourself. Every decision forms a different route for you to take. It's amazing. It takes a lot of bravery to do this. I mean, after all, if you thought your life's dream was to get a PhD and you realize it's not your dream anymore, it can be really scary to make a new decision. But trusting your inner compass is all part of creating your own unique map. But what if you don't have a specific goal in mind? What if you simply just don't know what to do next? It would be really nice if some difficult life decisions were planned out for us because there are all kinds of tough choices to make in life. What career path do you choose? What do you do if you're in a relationship that isn't totally fulfilling? If we had a map already written for us, all we would need to do is just follow the directions, right? Just open it up, punch in the destination. But we have a lot of control and determining what the map of our lives actually looks like. And that's a wonderful thing. What if I told you that you are always one decision away from living a totally different life? Every decision you make can lead you down an entirely new path. No ragging? <laughs> yes, it can be a little. But it's also pretty empowering. 
Not every decision you make is going to have a perfect outcome. I'm going to say that one more time. Not every decision you make is going to have a perfect outcome. And that's the beauty of feeling a little lost. As you create new roads in your map, you open yourself up to more opportunities and experiences. With the help of your inner compass, you'll find which of these opportunities speak to you. You'll feel less and less directionless by simply following any path that takes you forward. You can always course correct later. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. You can always course correct anytime you want. But of course, some things happen at random. I'm reminded by the brilliant quote by that famous boxer, Mike Tyson. And he said, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. <laughs> it's a bit aggressive, but it's a great analogy. A sudden job loss, the end of a relationship, or becoming sick. These are all events that can throw a wrench, that can throw a punch in the mouth with your plans. These things can happen even if you make deliberate, careful decisions. They're no fault of your own. Try not to view these disruptions as a sign that you've made the wrong choice. Did you hear that? Try not to view these life disruptions as a sign that you made the wrong choice because there are no wrong choices. I know that sounds bizarre, but view them as different routes that branch off the road that you are following, creating new paths for you to take. Remember that your unique map is filled with errors so that you can arrive at the truth. Oh, that's so good. Sometimes I look at this and I say, do I really write that? Remember that your unique map is filled with errors so that you can arrive at the truth. There are thousands of different roads to follow. And sometimes the most fulfilling ones are the ones that we never planned on exploring. Allow yourself a sense of curiosity when rerouting your plans. You're writing your own story. I want you to imagine yourself. Are you ready? Close your eyes if you can safely. I want you to imagine yourself as a map maker. I know. Stick with me. Someone that designs their own path. Now sometimes, writing the story or creating these maps can be difficult, lonesome, without someone helping you navigate these paths, these journeys, right? It's like sometimes you like riding by yourself, but in you know, long journeys, it's great to have someone next to you. And sometimes the roads that we face, they aren't just physical ones. We often come across a mental and emotional crossroads also. And sometimes in life, we're faced with tough choices. And the way forward well, isn't always crystal clear out that window. It's like that uncertain feeling, right? Wondering if you made the right choice, if you're truly understanding yourself, or how to get to those moments of just doubt, whether it's about your career or relationships or anything else, having someone to talk to and guide you can be invaluable. Now, if you've listened to this podcast for any length of time, you know I've always believed in the power of having a hand to hold during difficult times, especially a professional therapist. It's like having that co-pilot to help you navigate through life, especially when things get... Uh, a little bit foggy and overwhelming, having someone by your side empowers you to be the best version of yourself, helping you learn just coping skills that are positive, helping you set boundaries and just so much more that you never would have thought of on your own. But for that to happen, sometimes we need some help and not just any help, which makes me really happy to say that this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. If you are considering starting therapy, which I highly recommend, 
or even just curious about it, there's an online platform that's designed to be convenient and flexible for your schedule, for your maps and the paths that you're taking. It's called BetterHelp, Better H-E-L-P. And the beauty of BetterHelp, well, it's all online. You just fill out a couple of questions and then you're matched with a licensed therapist. And if for any reason you want to switch therapists, you can go do that anytime, no additional charge. So let therapy be your map. I encourage you to explore the support that BetterHelp can offer. And for listeners of this podcast, please listen to me. There is a special offer. Visit betterhelp.com slash calm it, C-A-L-M-I-T. Go there today and you'll get 10% off of your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash calm it, I-T. Let therapy be your map with better help, please. Finding clarity in life, just like when mapping out a journey is crucial, whether it's knowing what meal to prepare, thank you, HelloFresh, or understanding your emotional and mental journey with better help. It's all about finding the best way forward, right? But you, your own map maker, you already know this. And the beautiful thing about your inner map is that there are a lot like the maps professional map makers create. See, they make these maps designed to reflect different priorities and different experiences and points of view and the terrain and the destinations. There's people that spend their entire livelihood just making maps, right? There's flight maps, there's population density maps, even cheese maps of Europe, which was pretty fascinating to come upon. For centuries, people have used maps to make sense of the world and of their surroundings. You are also a map maker of your own unique self, mapping out your priorities, your experiences, your points of view, and yes, even your destination. No matter what challenges you faced, or how lost you feel, or how many random obstacles are thrown your way, you have a compass and a map that can help guide you. Your brains and your head and feet and your shoes. You have all the tools, all the bravery to make your map brilliant, bright, full of highways and roads that will take you to some pretty exciting and, yes, even some unexpected places. Take the roads you come upon. Some highways, some trails that go through the forest. Some are detours, some are direct, and some you'll just flat out turn around. But in the end, your compass of intuition will guide you where you're supposed to go. To find more episodes of Calm It Down, hear the musical playlist from today's episode, or simply wanting to know where to send chocolate chip cookies, visit CalmItDownPodcast.com. You're not alone. You are not alone. This podcast was written and produced by yours truly, Chad Lawson. Composer, pianist, and nationally recognized, Sweet Tooth. And now something my attorney wants me to say. The views, expressions, and techniques in this episode are of my personal opinion and is not intended to, nor should they serve as a substitute for medical advice or diagnosis rendered to you by your individual doctor or other healthcare provider. Only a licensed physician should evaluate your situation, provide a diagnosis, or render other medical advice to you, and you should only act upon the advice of such physician. Now, what I'd like to say. I am an extreme empath by nature, but my profession is that of a composer and pianist, not a licensed therapist or physician. I hear from thousands of listeners how my music has helped them through various stages of emotional needs, and I simply want to offer this and future podcasts in aiding those needs. To find a list of licensed professionals in your area, please visit calmitdownpodcast.com. 
And finally, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review. While it takes less than 60 seconds to do, its impact will last for years to come as every little bit helps in growing the awareness and the importance of emotional health. I'm Chad Lawson, and until next time, be kind to your mind, and join me next week as we calm it down.